Hello everyone, my name is Loke Cola and uh, in today's video I would like to talk a little bit about Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Um, I was actually going to put up a Battlefield 1, uh, well I only in Battlefield 1 video today but uh, I was thinking to myself yesterday like uh, after watching the Black Ops 4 reveal I, I was like I kind of want to talk about this because um, uh, well, if you don't know know me, I really enjoy talking about games. <laughs> um, I'm not sure where to start with Call of Duty Black Ops 4, but uh, I suppose starting with the multiplayer makes the most sense, since that's what most people play Call of, Call of Duty for, um, Black Ops 4 included, uh, especially since uh, there's a certain feature not present in this game. So. After watching the multiplayer reveal trailer and watching a little bit of gameplay from another YouTuber, I, I'm not, I'm mostly positive, um, and I think maybe that's what I <laughs> should have said in the beginning because right now there are a lot of negativity towards this game. Uh, some of it I understand, some of it I don't get, but uh, that's. I mean, hey, different opinions. Um, and for the most part, I mean the positive camp. Uh, and as I said, what, what I've seen from the multiplayer so far does look good. However, it also looks a lot like Black Ops 3. With um, uh, a few things that seems to... Uh, be from Black Ops 2, like it almost looks like a mi mix between those two games. And I'm not really sure what to think of it, because on one hand I really enjoy Black Ops 3. I think as far as multiplayer games uh, on the PlayStation 4 goes, uh, Black Ops 3 is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, but on the other hand, when looking at the previous Black Ops games, there's been uh, quite a big leap between each individual game uh, from Black Ops 1 to Black Ops 2 then from Black Ops 2 to Black Ops 3 but um, in a sense this kind of looks like Black Ops 3.5 or Black Ops 3 but without any uh, advanced movements or jetpacks or wall running or whatever and uh, I, I, as I said I'm mostly I have mixed opinions about it but mostly positive at the end of the day, uh, at least from what, what I've seen so far. Um, it certainly looks good, you have specialists returning, which uh, I know a lot of people complain about this, but uh, I don't know, I don't really mind them that much. There are also a few changes um, uh, from looking at the trailer and the reveal and from the gameplay. Uh, the biggest thing seems to be that uh, um, you don't regenerate health automatically, and I find that very interesting. You have to use some sort of med pack instead uh, that works as a ability, and that, together with what seems to be a lot more focus on teamwork and tactical gameplay. Uh, that really intrigues me, because uh, when compared to most previous Call of Duty games, this does look a bit more tactical, and it seems that you may have to rely more on your teammates than before. And if it is indeed true, and if it does work out well, I will probably be very happy because uh, one of the things I'm not really a fan of uh, with Call of Duty is that uh, it seems to mostly be a solo thing like even in team games you play for yourself and act selfish like you just want odd kills and scores and all that but it does look to be a bit more emphasis on uh, teamwork and uh, in a sense it kind of looks like uh, Treyarch has taken a lot of inspirations from both Overwatch and Rainbow Six Siege. It uh, al almost looks like a, 
combination of those two games, but with the tradi traditional Call of Duty gameplay. And uh, uh, speaking of Rainbow Six Siege and Overwatch, those two games also have something in common, and that is the fact that they are heavily multiplayer focused and doesn't have a campaign. Um, Siege does have these situations which kind of acts like a tutorial for the, uh, well, f firstly the gameplay but also the operators. And this time Black Ops 4 isn't going to have a single player campaign. Which is, um, I mean, two minds about that. On one hand, I don't necessarily think that a game needs to have a single player campaign to be worth full price. Um, like the lack of campaign for Battlefront 2015 or Rainbow Six Siege, that were hardly the, uh, those games' uh, biggest issue. And I don't have that big of a problem with Black Ops 4 ditching the campaign uh, for the very same reasons. Um, and I, I know a lot of people love to harp ab about the fact that uh, it needs to have a single player campaign to be worth full price or it needs to be there because uh, uh, whatever reason. But I mean the fact is that most people play Call of Duty for the multiplayer anyway. And Call of Duty is actually one of the series that I've said, uh, not in any YouTube videos as far as I remember, but it's one, uh, a series that I've said on occasions that if this series would ditch the single player, I wouldn't be uh, that upset about it. Because uh, they are very much hit and miss, I feel. On the other hand, I'm a little bit sad that it's Treyarch that ditches the single player campaign, because <clears throat> while Call of Duty campaigns in general are very hit and miss, Treyarch are the ones that does the better ones. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of the first Black Ops, uh, but uh, it certainly was a good campaign and I think I appreciate it more uh, now in hindsight when I, I uh, run up a bit. And I really liked the campaign in Black Ops 2, uh, although I, I was not a fan of the one in Black Ops 3, that one, that one was... I don't know what that was honestly. So, <clears throat> again, very hit and miss, but generally I feel that Treyarch has been more consistent with providing a very good narrative and uh, story to play through, but uh, yeah, they're ditching it this time and... Uh, as I said, I'm in two minds about it, but uh, I guess uh, I, I did forget to mention now that there is going to be more narrative in these different modes like multiplayer and zombies and the new mode so that uh, there will still be some sort of story and the multiplayer will have these... Um, uh, kind of single player missions where you play as the different operators uh, to um, partly to get some story but also so you can learn how to play those which uh, definitely draws a parallel to Rainbow Six Siege where you have the very same same thing with the situations um, and I'm going to assume that these uh, missions or whatever they're going to be called is gonna serve the exact same function where you get like a intro cinematic, maybe telling a little bit of the story uh, for this particular mission, and then it's mostly gonna be a, like a tutorial level almost. Uh, so we'll see how that uh, how that works out. And then there's obviously zombies, which um, I'm not the biggest zombie fan, but I, I do enjoy a good zombie mode in uh, these uh, in these games. Um, although I don't really have that much to say about uh, Black Ops 4 Zombies, to be honest. Um, I guess it could be interesting. I mean, Treyarch has done pretty good with the Zombies mode uh, previously, so I don't have any doubt that they will succeed this time as well. Um, I think the only thing that looks interesting is it's, it's that uh, it seems that the narrative around the Zombie mode seems to focus around 
historical events like uh, you have the uh, <laughs> iceberg showing up in the back and like oh they're on the Titanic that's uh, that's interesting um, and in general the zombie mode will be a lot more expanded for instance you can have you can play with bots now yeah took them long enough I suppose <laughs> um, and a lot of and a bunch of other things but I'm not gonna go into too much details because I don't I don't want to just talk into infinity and beyond. And then there's the third and last, but definitely not the least, the third game mode, which uh, um, the leaks were true about uh, the game not having a campaign and. They were also right about there being a battle royale mode uh, in Black Ops 4, which is called Blackout. And uh, we didn't get to see anything from this mode. All we know is that it's going to be a big map um, that's going to feature a lot of a uh, areas from uh, different Black Ops maps, I believe. And they're also. I don't know if, if there's going to be a narrative around it, but apparently. Uh, a lot of characters from uh, the different Black Ops games is gonna make s some appearance in this mode. Like you have Hudson and Mason and Woods, and you also have the Zombies crew, and uh, it, it, it looks a bit crazy, but we didn't get to see much. Um, apparently, it's gonna have uh, playable vehicles, which uh, I don't know about that <laughs> when it comes to Call of Duty. Um, they haven't had the best vehicle controls, so. Uh, and I can also imagine that it might be a little bit o uh, overpowered, but uh, I don't know. Again, we really didn't get to see anything. Um, I mean, there's no surprise that they're doing a Battle Royale mode since that's, uh, uh, that's the current trend that everyone wants to jump on alongside the. Games as a service train, which uh, Black Ops 4 definitely does as well. Um, yeah, I, I I already know that they're absolutely gonna cram this game with microtransactions, supply drops, and loot boxes. And ugh, that almost makes me <laughs> not excited for this game at all, to be honest. I suppose it could be interesting to see how a uh, uh, AAA game decides to handle this battle royale mode because so far it's really only been player announced battleground and Fortnite and I don't think I would call any of them AAA. Not again, not really a surprise. Uh, I'm a little bit interested to see how it's gonna work out in this game, but I can't say I'm super enth enthusiastic about the. Blackout Battle Royale mode since I don't know. I, I mean, I played Fortnite and I do enjoy it, but uh, I don't know if I enjoy it that much. But um, regardless, uh, I'm, at least from what has been shown, I am mostly positive about Black Ops 4. Uh, I'm in two minds about the lack of campaign, but I've already talked about that. Um, it's a multiplayer anyway that I'm the most interested in. In Zombies, I, I, I'm very much a casual fan of that. And Battle Royale, I mean, I'll definitely try it out, I guess. Um, well, if I get the game, that is. <laughs> Which uh, I might not do. Who knows? Uh, but, uh, I mean, it's definitely a game that I have my eyes on. I really enjoyed Black Ops 3. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to... Uh, Play, uh, to, to play Black Ops 4, I don't know why I can't talk. Um, I don't know, I don't really have that much to say. I mean, again, it does look a lot similar to Black Ops 3 so far, and that might be a concern. Um, on the other hand, I really enjoyed Black Ops 3, so I don't know. Uh, it's hard to say without having played the game. Uh, but I, I mean, I, I, I guess so far it does look promising. I'm definitely looking forward to Black Ops 4. Um, I'm definitely gonna follow this game. And uh, I will probably get it at some point because uh, I tend to do that with 
Call of Duty games anyway, uh, so I don't know if I will get it on release, but uh, yeah, I mean it's definitely something I like to play and uh, um, most likely uh, I'm gonna play it for the channel as well. Um, other than that, I don't really have much to say. Um, again, I don't typically do this kind of videos, so uh, if you thought it too rambly, I heavily apologize. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video regardless. Um, I may do more videos of these if there's an interest. Well, well, I am interested in making more videos like this. Um, unless ev everyone absolutely <laughs> hates it. Uh, and bombs bombards it with uh, dislikes the amount of the Infinite Warfare reveal trailer then I'm probably gonna back off <laughs> but uh, yeah if you're new to uh, to my channel uh, you may want to um, check out some other stuff I do I mostly do uh, live, live commentary and highlight stuff from multiplayer games with the Occasional, although I should probably say rare let's play since I've only done the two so far um, Regardless, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this video um, If nothing else, it was probably an amusing waste of time um, Again, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. Uh, don't forget to rate comment subscribe all that great stuff and uh, I'll see you all next time